I'm going to go over a quick topic today. Um, I just wanted to cover the fact that you can actually bring up your SP404 MK2 as a VST3 plugin and you're able to endure. Uh, you may want to do this if you want a live workflow where you want to actually work in the SP404 and dump it in the Ableton as you go rather than do everything in the SP and then bounce the files down to the SD card and then drag it over to Ableton. You can do that too, but I just figure if you want everything to talk to each other at the same time so that way you can do it as you go, this actually is a great workflow. Here I have Ableton 11 open. I'm going to go over here to VST3. I'm going to hit the drop down menu triangle and I'm going to come down to R. And here you see Roland. I'm going to hit the drop down and you'll see the SP404 MK2 right here. I can just take that and drag it onto the session. And then you'll get a disclaimer. It is That's if you want to use this app, but you don't have to use the app. I'm going to go ahead and connect the SP. I don't even use the app, but. I'm going to X that out and you'll see the SP404 right here. And as you can see, the audio is coming up on the meters. A little beat I had here. So we are live. All right. So once you have the SP open and you're actually getting audio you'll see the meters here moving turn this down so you open up audio track hit the drop down menu it says no input i'm going to go ahead and select my sp404 mk2 i'm going to arm the track and there you'll see the audio coming up in the meters so now i'm ready to actually record this audio into the session let me just stop this real quick. And there's the audio. Stop that. Let's play it back to make sure you have it that is the sp404 mk2 as a plugin so you can have a live workflow again thank you i appreciate you and uh till next time take care um, you're